Hey everyone, it's Renee. Thank you for watching my video. Let's get right into it. The first step is choosing what design you want to do. Certain designs will have to be tied up and dyed first, while other designs have to be printed first. With the design that I chose to do, I tied up a circle in the front, a spine on the back, and scrunched the remainder of the shirt. After the shirt's all tied up, I dye the shirt. I add chemical water to the area that I've tied up to be printed. This will keep the dye from running into that area so it stays white. After the shirt is completely dyed, I place it in a bin, cover the bin, and let it cure for at least 48 hours. I always cure my dyes for 48 hours because the dye remains active for 48 hours, so you don't have to worry about any transfer of color in the washer, like you won't have to worry about the dye going onto the white area, but you also get the full color when you let it cure for 48 hours. After the curing process is completed, it is time to rinse out the shirt. I start rinsing with cold water. I'll pay special attention to that white area. I put Blue Dawn directly on that area. I keep rinsing it every 10 to 15 minutes with cold water until no more dye comes out of the shirt. Once all the loose dye is removed, I'll start to rinse with hot water. Then I move it to the washer. I use hot water and Synthrapol in the washer. Make sure you remember when you're drying it not to put fabric softener in. After the shirt's all dried and everything, it's all ready for the print. 